How are you? Can you not see me? I will never see you again. 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 Seriously, that is one of the classic drum intros of all time. This lesson is for Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, a throwback requested by you guys. Some great chops in there, so let's check it out. Okay, Doug, first up, let's check out that very same intro. We've got flams on the snare drum, and we're filling in the 8th notes with the hi-hats, and the 16th notes with the kick drum. So the hands are doing this. And then the kick drum is filling in the 16th notes, so it's... Then we go into what will essentially be our chorus groove, but we're using it as kind of an intro. Okay, that sounds like this. So note the open hi-hats in that chorus section, and also the crash cymbals. It's a bit of a tricky one to get that Kick, snare, kick, kick, going in uh, on beat 3, 3 E and up. But with a little bit of practice, you'll definitely get it down. Luckily though, when we move on to the verse, it's more of a straightforward beat. So the verse, for the first section, for the first half of the verse, is just going to sound like this. So much more straightforward. Kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. And then that little sizzle on the end of four at the end of two bars. Before we go on to the next half of the verse, we move that sizzle one eighth note earlier, so it's on beat four with the snare drum, and that will sound like this. After we've played that, we play the same thing with sloshy up high hats. They're a little bit open now, so that will sound like this. And then right before, as we're building everything up towards the chorus, kick drums come in on every eighth note that the snare drum's not playing. So that sounds like this. And then we have another classic fill, all snare drums with the kick drum playing eighth notes, and there's a little kind of kick off at the end. It's the art of three, four, and four end. Anyway, I'll play it for you slowly. And then we're back into our chorus again. So we play that with the open hats for a while, I think it's eight bars, and then moves on to the crash cymbal. Right before we go to the post chorus, which is the really cool drum bit, there's this tiny little fill within the groove, and that sounds like this. Then we're on to the post chorus. So the tricky part is that little triplety bit. We're going to go left, right, kick. And up to speed. Okay, so that left hand lead is a bit tricky, it will feel really uncoordinated if you haven't done it before. So, another option that you could try, is to try playing all of it with your hands on the floor tom, and then quickly moving over to the snare and hi-hats. So that would sound... 
it would be that kind of sound. Okay, it's still not that easy because you have to move your hands really quickly. Sounds like this again. Okay, so that's option two. And then the third option, if you have a kind of quick, quick bass drum uh, and you're used to playing twos on your bass drum, you can kind of fake it. Go floor, kick, kick, and then that last one. To get that triplet. Tri right? So those are three different ways you could play it. As I said, I think the first way is the spot on way, if you can get that one down. But you know, if you listen to the track and you think that one of the other ones sounds better, be my guest, use it, go for it. All right, the next bit of that post chorus goes like this. We're gonna go from the snare, hats, toms, hats, and fill in with the kick drum, kind of similar to what we did in the intro. I'll play up to speed. The third section is the same as the first section, so we've already got that one down. And then the last one goes... So it's just a little snare fill on the last couple of beats. I'll play the whole of the post-chorus for you, up to speed. Alright, we are very nearly there. After that post-chorus, it repeats the verse, chorus, post-chorus form that we've already used. Then it goes on to a guitar solo, and that uses the same, same groove, the same beat as the chorus again. The very, very end of the song uh, is the only thing that changes, and so we're going to have snare drums, four beats to the bar, and fill in the gaps with the kick drum. It's going to sound like this. And that's really the last piece of the puzzle. That's the last bit you'll need to play all the sections of Smells Like Teen Spirit. Keep an ear out for when it's closed hi-hats, open hi-hats, or crash cymbal. Um, but other than that, the grooves all stay the same, and the right hand just moves around in different sections. Uh, I hope that's really helpful. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section below. Happy practicing, and I'll see you at the next lesson. Okay, cool. I think I'm Thank you.